Hey, what up team? It's Joe Mill here with Killer Miller Q back at you again. And today we're going to be bringing out that old uh, kettle grill over there. I got her already smoking. You might see a little bit of that over there in the background. We got her cleaned up. Now it's time to get it dirty. I'm going to be bringing back one of my old school favorites, some good old fashioned lemon pepper chicken. I like using that uh, split breast chicken breast on the bone. You're going to like this one. Hold tight. Everybody always talking about they can't get no juicy chicken. They can't get no juicy chicken breast. They can't get bite through skin. They can't get bite through skin. I mean, come on now. Come on now. All right, team, we back at it again. You already see I got my sweat rag out. I'm dabbing already. We're going to roll right through this thing. You know it's already 100 plus. Another hot day. Good to be in AZ. Let's get back to this work. We're gonna be doing this lemon pepper chicken. Like I said, this is something I've been doing for a while. Uh, one of the first times I started actually eating some baked chicken. Pretty much what I got in here, you kind of see them as I'm pulling them out, is some uh, split breast chicken th breast, which is pretty much already on the bone. So from there, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go ahead and pat them off, just to make sure there's no extra liquid that it kind of sweat out from them. And uh, we won't have an issue with the whole sweating out thing from here. So, after we do that, the next thing that I want to do is come over the top with a little bit of olive oil. That's just going to help protect it a little bit from too much of, we won't have too much on the flare else. And I'm going to show you how we're going to set this grill up today, more or less indirect. But it will let us in a position where it'll give us a nice brownie, get that skin nice and crisp, so it's going to be nice and bite through. And uh, at the end of the day, it's going to help it be nice and pretty. Really don't need too much of a binding agent on a day like this. It's going to be automatic with this kind of heat. So all I'm gonna do is give it a couple squirts and I'll pull one out so you can see exactly what's going on. Start right on the, the meat side. And these are big. You never have the chicken breast on the bone, you missing out. It's one of my favorite when you get kissed with them uh, charcoals over there on the, the grill, it's nothing like it. Nice, big, and it's nothing like the flavor that you get, like I said, from being on the bone. I'm gonna give it a little bit of oil on both sides, just kind of lightly rub it on here. From there, this mixture that we're gonna be making today is super duper easy. I should have opened this before I put my glove on. There we go. All we're gonna be using is a little bit of lorry, some seasoning salt. And I would say you can use any seasoning salt, but you should get you some lorries, okay? A little bit of lorries. Remember, lorries is kind of salty. So don't get too happy with this, even though this is a decent sized piece of chicken. And then from there, you can use any type of lemon pepper seasoning that you want to. I like a lot of Kinder's products. I run across them a lot. So I get a lot of them and I ran into this one, so I had to go with it. This is gonna give it a beautiful color and a nice little zing. You probably already know about the lemon pepper wings. This lemon pepper chicken breast on the bone is gonna be even better. Even better. You tell Ross I said that. Okay, and then you can't come heavy with the lemon pepper. Don't feel too bad on that. It's usually going to be a little bit more sugar in there, a lot more on the lemon side than it is going to be so much on the salt. From there, we're going to do the exact same thing on this other side. A little bit of olive oil. I actually already had that side with olive oil. We're good. Give me another seasoning salt. Heavy on the lemon pepper. I want it to look yellow when we're done. And I'm gonna bring you in once I get all of these done, but you get a second to see what it's gonna look like. Pat it in. I'm not wanting to do the rubbing or to kind of change the texture of it, but if you can see a little bit, I'll try to get a little close over there for you. These babies is pretty. All right, so that's one down. I'm just gonna sit it right back in there. And we're gonna move right on to the next one. A little bit of oil. Mix it around, flip it over. Little oil on the other side. I'm coming respectful with the Lowry's. So I can give me a nice, think of it like the AP with a little bit of more love. And I'm coming heavy with the yellow. Heavy with the lemon pepper. Give it that nice yellow color. Give me a couple pats. We're gonna flip it over. Same thing on this side. 
respectful make sure we get it all over so we get you some good flavor and some salt all over lemon pepper I won't bore you so you don't got to see all the rest but I will bring you in here and let you see what they look like when I'm done patting and rubbing and all the rest of this good stuff hold tight baby all right now before while that chicken's over there hanging out we got this uh coals already nice and hot as you can see and that's just one charcoal chimney full which is the best invention ever um good old charcoal chimney one charcoal chimney full of charcoal and then as you can see i got that aluminum drip pan in there and you might not be able to kind of tell but you might be on the angle there's water in there so basically what we just did is we setting up two zone cooking so i got an area where i can sear and i got an area where i can kind of work and cook indirect so this is basically how you start and set your grill up to be like an offset cooker like what i'm normally cooking on and that way you can still take your time be able to walk away from your meat without burning it all up and only be you know charring out the outside and the middle not be done okay so there go two zone cooking real quick we'll talk about a lot more of that i tell you if i had one of those uh slow and sears that would be the thing it basically is a contraption you set in here that holds a nice little area for your coals got a nice little trough for the water and then over than that you got the open area the other thing i like about doing it like this is it's good easy on the grill cleanup obviously i still got ashes but everything as far as the juices from my meat is pretty much going to drop right over here on this side and i'm pretty much going to take all of that out so easy money i'm gonna let this baby come up to temp we are going to be using that meat stick x to the end today and we try that out on this uh chicken and uh we'll get it going i'm probably gonna go for about uh 325 350. okay we got everything going. I wanted you to see, I got that meat stick X. Like I said, it's only my second time getting to try it out. Didn't want to stick through the bones, so kind of went the long way more or less on pretty much my biggest breast. Try to put the bigger ones closer to the fire, the smaller ones a little bit further away. I'm gonna let this baby chill out, hurry up and get it covered up before I lose my little bit of heat. Once I can get these babies up to around 150, I'm gonna be checking them out along the way and make sure I'm rotating them. And then if anything, I might give them a little sear over there on the hot side just to make sure I get that nice crispy skin as we get all the way up to temp. All right, team, we are officially at about 30 minutes. I've been over here one time. Um, I had a little mishap early on. It was more on me, user error, with getting the meat stick going. Kind of forgot, uh, when you're initially starting, I had already put it in the meat, put it on, and then try to go ahead and get it synced. You need to leave it in the charger, sync it up, get it all ready, and then it'll tell you when it's ready to go ahead and insert to the meat, and then you can go from there. So I end up having to take it off at about 10 minutes, take it out, let it cool down a little bit, put it on, get it synced in, and put it back on. When I did that, I did rotate one time, as I noticed a couple of my breasts getting a little bit of char on the front end, um, but we're gonna take a peek at them now. 30 minutes in, I know it'll be time to do a little bit of rotating. Also, one thing I didn't say before I uh, came in is kind of this grill placement. Keep in mind, you wanna keep this open stack towards the meat in this case which is going to be the indirect side i got my fire and my heat source over here i easily could have been adding in wood chunks or something like that to that uh, charcoal and then from there i got the heat coming up and i'm pulling that smoke all the way up and to the other side much like my offset over there and going from one side in the firebox all the way over and out the uh, stack so that's pretty much what we're doing over here let's take our peek all right, we're getting some color. I would not be able to do all of this one-handed like I do over there on my Lone Star. Uh, we're getting us some good color. I think I was a little bit over 130 on our big breast right there. So uh, meat stick's been cooking along good. I've been rolling along at about 350. I'm about to be quick. I'm gonna get these moved. I'm gonna flip these to the outside and rotate the big sides back towards the fire. And I'm gonna let these take a little bit of that uh, front end. We'll keep going from there. Hey team, I want to jump in here real quick and let you know if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that bottom right corner, like and subscribe, check out some of the other cooks that you might have already missed, and make sure you tune in weekly for the new ones up and coming. For everybody else, make sure that you follow along with me in IG and keep on pumping along like normal. I'll see you here in a minute. Let's get back to okay, this chicken. We have 51 minutes and the meat stick is telling me my big breast is at 165. So we're going to check this thing out. They look pretty nice, look pretty decent. That one don't look done, but I always think that you look for it, I start to see that good juice pooling and coming up out of there, so that's a good thing. I see some redness right there. I think it might be a good little time. I can give me a little bit of time on those coals. I've been enjoying the, um, being able to have that ambient tip on deck though. That's nice, I tell you. That allows you to do a lot. So I'm gonna try to get right in there. Okay, I'm getting 47 with this one. And understand too, I mean, I'm trying to slide that meat stick in there sideways, so I might not have the best of reading, but I get an idea where I'm at. 
This one says that I'm home free and then some. Let me see if I got the bone on that. I did notice that juice came out thin. It was close and these are a lot smaller as it was getting in there to that fire. He needs some milk. I'm definitely gonna give him a little quick second over that fire to sear off. About five degrees. You know, these were the two that were in front. They came on the back for the end and these small ones I brought up to the front. So it looks like they got some love now and they're looking good. Love it. So I'm gonna pull these two to the back and turn them upside down just so I can get that top off. I'm gonna get these a quick second over these heat and let them really get on up to temp and we should be good to go. Now we're gonna keep an eye on those. I had to quickly close that up because I don't want that to flare up too much. I got that bigger one that was a little further down. I think it was around 149-ish. I got that one directly over the coals, upside down. The other one, which was about five degrees off, I got it upside down, but not so much over the coals. The other two, they turned them upside down. They're all far off to the side, just kind of hanging out and staying merry. You can instantly see a little bit of smoke coming out of there. What that tells me is some of that fat is probably dripping off of there and then or juice is going down and then kissing them coals. So good time where you can get them flyer fair or the fire flare-ups. So I can kind of peek through them holes sometimes and see if I can see anything kind of kicking up. But uh, I'm not gonna let it stay too long before I take a peek at it. Now we're back to the old school. All right, team. I'm gonna bring you back in here and let you check it all out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. That old meat stick did perform well for me again today. I know I had an initial hiccup. That was me not necessarily knowing the best way to get it started and kind of get it all synced up. And then with the temperature uh, being off, I wasn't too surprised because I thought I might deal with that. Normally you're trying to put that meat all the way into something that deep so it works great on the thick cuts of meat. With this one, I know I was going sideways. I was probably easily trying to get into the, some of the bone or something like that. But uh, needless to say, that's why we always check and then we double check, right? Um, we got some good looking color. Smells absolutely amazing. Kinders came through with that lemon pepper. Lowry's been doing the same thing since day one. You don't even know, or you already know. So uh, only thing one left to do before these flies get a hold of mine is to taste it. And I think I'm going for All him right, right there. I got that thing spent back around so I can actually see you. You can actually see me. We can get into this thing. You can already see all the juice coming off of this. I'm excited. Still got some daylight. Took us roughly about an hour. Make sure I can give y'all a chance. I'll be forgetting y'all never get to see the back of it. Give y'all the back of the shirt. Uh, Let's get into it. I told you I had my eye on this one. We got Pit Master Privilege going on. Look at all this juice. This thing is dripping. Uh, that Pit Master Privilege mean I get to choose the one I want and figure out how I want to eat it. I'm going right in here to the fat part. Bite through skin, right? And that we always looking to get. And I tell you what, this lemon pepper seasoning don't wake you up, nothing will. Full of flavor. Super juicy, great white chicken. Hey, I'm not gonna bore you while I sit over here and eat this whole chicken breast, but believe me, I'm about to sit over here and eat this whole chicken breast. I'll catch y'all next week. Joe Mill here with Killer Miller Q. Check out Black Smoke Barbecue, blah, Black Smoke Barbecue, and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.